Hello everyone. I am Jackie. Today, uh, I'm very glad to show you how to uh, assemble ASPI Case Plus. It's from uh, Retro Flag, and it it has three three main features, and I I love safe shutdown uh, function. It will protect my image uh, which I burn to my TF card so that I can uh, shut down my Raspberry Pi safely and you can see that there are some uh, uh, functional power and reset buttons and functional LED power indicator let's open the case and uh, see what it has Here is a instruction in the box, and uh, please read the instruction uh, carefully. They have four steps to uh, assemble your NES Pi case, and the first one is to uh, connect the Ethernet and USB cable to your Raspberry Pi. And it compatible with Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, 3B, and uh, 3, uh, 2B and uh, uh, B Plus. You know, the Raspberry Pi has uh, a lot of version, so it has compatible with those four. And the uh, second one is to hook up the uh, power cable to your GPIO pin to. Uh, uh, to get gather the power from from the PCB of the NES Pi, and the third step is to install the safe shutdown scripts, so that the uh, your NES Pi can be uh, shut down safely. And four is to assemble all of the screws to fix the, your uh, NES Pi case. You can see that there are two PB 2.5 uh, by 5. Uh, it's a uh, small, smaller uh, screws. Will fix your Raspberry Pi. And here is a safe shutdown switch. Where is it? It's here. And normally, is default is off, so that. We need to push this uh, button, switch this button to on, and uh, and then to download the script. Okay, install the shell script, so that your uh, operating system will uh, support the safe shutdown function. All right, let's see. Please do remember the SD card before installing the Raspberry Pi. Oh, it's a note. And here is a sc some screws. PB 2.5 by 5 is this black one, okay? This one is to uh, fix the Raspberry Pi to your case. Okay, screwdriver and all of the schools and we got a fine for your Raspberry Pi help your Raspberry Pi to uh, consume the heat you can see that it support 5 volts and just uh, consume 0.1 amp Pi fan smaller smaller one okay let's just uh, fix the, the fan to the case at the very beginning you will find that there are three holes mounting holes for the rest uh, for the pi fan so you hold your case like this and put your pi fan into the slot Okay, 
and then find three of them find three of them to fix your fine like this okay Okay, the pan fan will sit properly. Uh, next step is to stick the heat sink to your Raspberry Pi. There are three heat sinks. A green aluminum and a black aluminum and a copper one. The copper one will stick to the back of the Raspberry Pi and uh, the green one will stick to the uh, Raspberry Pi CPU uh, shield and this one is to USB controller okay do remember remove the plastic uh, protect film uh, which which one is black a uh, blue blue color stick uh, on the heat sink okay and the next one is to Next one is to switch this uh, shift shot button. You can see that. Default is off and turn it on on your right side, okay? Here, you can see that. All right, and the last step is to Connect the USB cable extension board and your Ethernet extension board like this. Finally, hook up the uh, GPL Raspberry Pi GPL pins to the power cable, and you will see that this is pin number one. It's 3.3 .3 volts and this one is 5 volts and this one is 5 volts too this one is ground is okay so you can see that the red wire is 5 volts blue black wire black wire is uh, ground so I will Plug the jump wire like this. All right. Red, five volts. Black one is uh, ground. All right. Let's put your Raspberry Pi into the case. And fix your Raspberry Pi with these two screws. PB 2.5, okay? here and the next one is here all right put our case at the red side of here and plug the fan by using this port you can see the negative is is black wire is negative and red wire is 5 volts okay you can see that there is a plus sign okay all right hook up all those things Put them together. Okay.
Okay. Chop down. And here is a power button. Reset button. Ethernet cable, USB cable four. And you can put your SD card here. It's a SD card storage. All right. And finally, find your TF card and insert into here. And hook up your HDMI cable, power cable here, audio output wire. And then hook up your USB uh, game pad and uh, turn on a switch button. Connect to the internet and download the power, safe power, uh, power down shell script and install it uh, according to the manual. All right? Okay. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you can visit our website there are a lot of funny things and bye bye